Hello guys, this is Pavan from Gizmos Boy and in this video I am going to show you how to install TWRP recovery in Intex Cloud S9 smartphone. Let me give you a small information. The Intex Cloud S9 smartphone is powered by Android Marshmallow 6.0. The point to note here is that, that generally the devices which are running on Marshmallow 6.0, most of the devices which are running in the Marshmallow 6.0 are a bit difficult to root. That means this device cannot be rooted by using the apps such as King Root, I Root, etc. In order to access the root in your device which are running on Marshmallow 6.0, you have to try some alternative method in order to access the root. For the alternative method of the rooting process, you need this TWRP recovery. Okay, without any further delay, let's get started. Firstly, you need the MediaTek USB VCOM drivers for your PC. Let me explain you about these drivers. By using these drivers, that means if you install these drivers in your PC, you will be able to access your Android phone on your PC without hassle free. That means the necessary drivers which are required by your mobile in order to connect to the PC, these drivers will be enough to connect the Android device to your PC. Okay, after downloading this, Okay, I just forgot to mention that. If you want to download this, you can just download from the official website or else I have provided the link in the description for the Windows 7. You can just check it out. Okay, without any further delay, I'll just share the steps and you just follow it. After downloading that, you just go to that drivers. Just click on the drivers and these are the folders. And firstly, you just click on the setup button. Okay, it says that it is installed successfully. As I've installed this software already, it is showing that it is installed successfully. But if you are new to the software, then it will take you to the further proceedings. After that, going to this, you, if you are using Windows 7, then click on it. And these are the three setup information files which are needed. And this is the another extra file. Now, follow these steps carefully. Now, in the search bar, you just type device manager and in that you will this is the name of my pc main pc and in that you will find these drivers if you on this setup is this part is mainly to show you how to install it and this is the most important thing you need to do if you don't see these drivers then follow these steps click on this add legacy hardware click on the next and you just install it manually click next and you just don't uh, need to how to disturb it and hard disk browse it and you if you are a 32 bit user then you can select this one and if you are a 64 bit user then you can select this one as i'm a 64 bit user i'm selecting this one okay next by clicking next you will be installed as i have already installed the software i'm not doing it again but if you didn't do it then you can just go ahead Okay, as you can see, uh, I used to have only one, but as I have done second installation, it is this. Now close it. And hence, you have installed the MTK or the MediaTek USB VCOM drivers in your PC successfully. Okay guys, this is the part 1 and check out more for the part 2.